so dear viewers i welcome you all in the multiple choice questions series on the parent roles part 3 so the very first multiple choice question is volume of small volume parent role is the options are less than 100 ml more than 100 ml more than 200 ml less than 200 ml and the correct answer is less than 100 ml so the volume of small volume parent roll is less than 100 ml second multiple choice question is volume of large volume parent roll is the options are more than 50 ml more than 100 ml more than 1000 ml all of the above and the correct answer is more than 100 ml so volume of large volume parent roll is more than 100 ml third multiple choice question is sterile filtration is generally used for the options are thermostable thermolabile a and b both none of the above the correct answer is a and b both sterile filtration is generally used for thermostable and thermolabiles so that's why the answer is a and b both fourth multiple choice question is which parenteral preparation is official in usp options are sterile ampicillin suspension tetanus toxoid insulin zinc suspension all of the above the correct answer is all of the above so which parenteral preparation is official in usp the all sterile ampicillin suspension tetanus toxoid and insulin zinc suspension that's why the correct answer is all of the above fifth multiple choice question is an ideal parenteral suspension should have the following property options are syringeability injectability permeability a and b both and the correct answer is a and b both so an ideal parenteral suspension should have the following property that is syringeability and injectability sixth multiple choice question is ideal globule size of parenteral emulsion is options are 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer 1 to 3 micrometer 1 to 5 micrometer 1 to 10 micrometer the correct answer is 1 to 5 micrometer so ideal globule size of parenteral emulsion is 1 to 5 micrometer seventh multiple choice question is propofol and oil soluble vitamins are the examples of options are parenteral suspension parenteral emulsion parenteral solution all of the above the correct answer is parenteral emulsion so propofol and oil soluble vitamins are examples of parenteral emulsion eighth multiple choice question is the most commonly used temperature for lyophilization the options are minus 10 to minus 20 degree celsius 0 to minus 10 degree celsius 
minus 30 to minus 40 degrees Celsius none of the above and the correct answer is minus 30 to minus 40 degrees Celsius the most commonly used temperature for lyophilization is minus 30 to minus 40 degree Celsius ninth multiple choice question is parenteral suspension dosage form cannot be administered by options are intramuscular route intravenous route ocular route none of the above the correct answer is intravenous route parenteral suspension dosage form cannot be administered by intravenous route tenth multiple choice question is the cooling effect in lyophilization is provided by circulating the options are silicon gas methane gas both a and b none of the above the correct answer is silicon gas the cooling effect in lyophilization is provided by circulating silicon gas thanks for watching